Hi everyone, this is Bahawun Jane from MXD and in this video I will introduce MXD Edit which is a small utility for Unity that allows you from editing, fixing and modifying meshes within the Unity Editor as well as creating prototypes for your game levels. To start and to open MXD Edit we go to MXD Edit Menu Item. Once we click on it a new window will appear and you need to select a game object that holds a mesh filter with a mesh in order to see the components of the MXD edit window. So let's start with a basic cube and see the main functions of MXD edit. Once you have a game object selected, two new objects for the first time will be created. One is called MXD manager and the other is called MXD undo manager. So MXD manager holds information about the objects that you are editing and a collider in order to recast against these objects without actually adding any scripts to your game objects. So in this manner we separate between uh, game uh, meshes and game functionality from the editing functionality that we have. The other game object is MXD undo manager which holds information for undo and redo of your functions and both game objects maps to the desk so you can easily uh, preserve any changes you do or any modifications or any data that you hold for these modified objects one important aspect is that don't open the window the editing window of MXD edit unless you want to edit a specific object or objects because whenever you select a game object, we actually create a copy of the mesh to avoid overriding and overwriting uh, your existing meshes. So to go and see the functionalities of MXD Edit, the first functionality is the selection of what you want to modify inside of your mesh. So you can select vertices, edges, triangles, quads, and elements. An element is actually a sub-mesh, which is a group of faces that holds a specific material. Also, whenever you select a triangle or a quad, you can actually delete the selection or you can extrude the selection. So, to start, we need first to select one of the three major tools, which is the move or rotate or scale in order to be able to select the selected element from within uh, the scene view. So let's start with vertices. So for example, we can do rectangular selection or drag selection, let's say, where you can just click and drag on the mouse to select multiple objects. If you hold down shift, you can add or remove from the selection. If you hold down control and shift, you can add to the selection and if you hold control you can remove from the selection so once you select any of the elements such as vertices or edges you can move them rotate them and scale them the way you want so for example if we selected an edge we can then move it we can rotate it and scale it as well To extrude faces, you can simply click on the extrude button and then move and the, and the new created faces will be available. This works with different, different face structures. To do it in a faster manner, you can just hold shift and then move and whenever you release the mouse or re-click it again, and a new, a new face uh, selection will be added to your, uh, your extruded faces and you will get the new faces created as well. So this is good to modify existing meshes or to create prototypes for your game. So for example we can modify existing meshes and it actually works with a high speed while you are working on even big, bigger meshes. 
so it can handle the, the, big, the biggest mesh that Unity can import. It works also very well with undo and redo, so you can even undo and redo selection changes. Or extrusion or deletion. So for example, let's delete part of this cow and then undo it. You can see that undo redo works very well, so you can also do any functions you undo, which is good when you are working with complex models and you don't want to redo functions that you executed previously. And that's that's it. So this is the basics of how to deal with MXD edit. Uh, in case you are opening the window and you want to change selection while you are on the move, rotate or scale handles, then you can just double click and it will change selection.